mm-hmm. on his final day to hand the keys yeah. off to whomever it is, say, here's the, the guess what? We've got a fifth theme park coming. Here you go. I'm out. Well, I'm, Hell I'm no, I don't want to pay for it. Included? <laughs> or are you? <laughs> it's included in your stay. Think about it. Think about your eight hundred dollar. It's included in your eight hundred dollar room. <laughs> Even went with the hat. It's a nice hat. It is a nice hat. Which hat you know, are you talking about? Very, very, very <laughs> Which one? <laughs> yeah. Welcome, Walt Disney World fans, to another episode of the Notcast. If you watched us last week, you watched us, right? Go back and do so after the show, if not. But we're talking about Bob Iger yet again, but today we're going to turn him in to Santa Bob. We want our gifts from you, Mr. Iger, <laughs> alongside of Bat Neistat this week. What's up? I've got Becky Wells with me. Hey, JPEG grew the beard, but didn't work. Santa Bob is Iger. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Steve Rhodes, and also with me today is Bobby Birchens. Here comes Santa Bob, here comes Santa Bob, right down Santa Bob Lane. I can't go anywhere. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the words. You yeah. went far enough. <laughs> I feel like I did. I even went with the hat. It's a nice hat. It is a nice hat. Which hat you know, are you talking about? Very, ve- very velvet. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So last year around the same time, we did a Christmas wish list for uh, Walt Disney World. I don't really think we got anything that was on our None list. Because, we got coal. Yeah. We, we well, had a different CEO then. Though, so, Well, Chapek <laughs> announced no new attractions as CEO. No new attractions That's as true. CEO. That's so. true. So I'll, I'll start the list off with something that is probably a little bit pie in the sky, but I think attainable. All I'm asking for is the Magical Express back. If you can do that, can we do that? This was an added cost to my family. Uh, You're talking at least $80 round trip now with Uber or Lyft or whatever you decide to take from the airport. Um, A rental car in Orlando, I mean, that cost a firstborn child, so it's really not a feasible option for us. Uh, So our preferred method is just the uh, ride share, and it's 80 bucks, man. Magical Express was free. It got your vacation started off right by just dropping your bags at your home airport, and then they show up in your Walt Disney World hotel room. It's all part of that Disney magic, and that is gone. Mr. Iger, if you could bestow upon us and that uh, bag of treats you got there is Santa Bob, a little Magical Express. Love you forever. And you want it to be free? Well, you want it to be what? Okay with paying for? Well, I'm, Hell I'm no, I don't want to pay for it. Included? <laughs> or are you? <laughs> it's included in your stay. Think about it. Think about your eight hundred dollar. It's included in your eight hundred dollar room. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they they've raised prices on rooms and then took away Magical Express. It's like somewhere in that cost was paid for a Magical Express. Oh, yeah. And think about it, think about it this way, just to sprinkle a little. Sugar on top there for the Disney company, uh, Mr. Iger. By doing this, you leave us captive on your campus there. You've got Universal building theme parks left and right down the street. Do you really Mm. want us to have access to just drive over there? Why don't you leave us captive, pick us up, strand us on your property, and just drive us around, and we'll pay for your overpriced food and whatnot, and it'll make you more money because we can't leave. So. Mm. Plus, it'll That's save me from having to pick you guys up from the airport, which is always nice. So. <laughs> Bobby, you've it never would. picked me up That's from true. the airport. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Just There's still one time, resort to the airport. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> yes. For this mythical, magical re- expre- express returns. Personally, if I may, uh, go pie in the sky and take the, the easy out for everybody. I want the fifth, <laughs> the fifth park. It's time. They have way more property than than Universal does. Somehow Universal is putting down roots for a third theme park, and then they do not have that space. I'm being blunt with you. Like I I don't know how they're going to fit a third theme park in there. Um, Disney has plenty of property. The reason why things are overcrowded is because Disney has built up the infrastructure of hotels and resorts to keep people on property, and that's all well and good. But when you have all those people staying somewhere, or in that very local space, 
they are just going to go to the Disney parks and without crowd control uh, means like a uh, fast pass plus system that was free or what have you, you, you got to thin the herd out somehow. You, you really do in order for you to, to be able to control everything still. To me, the, the thing that makes the most sense to do, especially because you have the IP library of, I don't know, five different companies now, you might as well build that, that fifth theme park and do something that we've been begging for since 1998. It's been almost 25 years. Uh, yeah. You know, it's just a matter of, you know, the will and the, the investment to do so. So, Bobby, what, what would this theme park be? I have two suggestions. I know that the uh, one of them is the standard one of the villain theme park. I think it would be a very cool idea to take at least part of the parking structure uh, or parking lots rather from Magic Kingdom and build parking decks instead, kind of like what you have over at Disney Springs, so that you can maintain that same level of parking, but have them kind of make a mirror universe of each other. Have a, the Magic Kingdom on one side and the Tragic Kingdom on the other, so that you can kind of utilize it in the same way that Disney's uh, California Adventure and Disneyland are utilized right across uh, a walkway from each other. That would be some, mm-hmm. something that I would love to see. Also, I, I've brought this up as, as an idea, like have a world showcase, but have it be an American showcase, basically, where you have different um, you know ports of entry, you know, to be at Ellis Island, the southern border, West Coast, so, something along those lines. You can even make resorts. Uh, to to kind of match the theming of all of that. You can also have different showcases of different cultures around uh, the country because there's plenty of different cultures that, that exist throughout the United States. And I'd love to see, you know, what kind of rides we can come up with based on just American culture. God knows the Florida man attraction is going to be off the chain, you guys. <laughs> I do think the Villains Park is a viable option. Um, oh, yeah. That's that's been the talk, and it, I, I don't think that's even stems from fans. I think it stems from internal talks at Disney that never came to fruition. So, I think that's an, an actual likely thing. Will that be something that we get from Bob Iger is in his two year ten, tenure? Maybe an announcement if he's extended. <laughs> like, like I don't, I don't know. I would love but, to see that be like the capstone to his tenure, like on his final day to hand the keys yeah. off to whomever it is. Say, here's the, the guess what we got a fifth theme park coming. Here you go, I'm out. And see but he's Sa- he's Santa Bob, so he can just do these things because based on this show, that's all that matters. We don't need actual parameters. So. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> Pat and Becky, you guys haven't picked one yet. So which one of you guys wants to jump in here? Pat. Becky, go. <laughs> There's, no, you go. You go. <laughs> I'll go. Okay, I'll go. Um, go for it. That's for me, I it's it's. I want him to get get the pocketbook out and capital expenditures at Walt Disney World. So whether it's Shocking expanding, <laughs> whether expanding Animal Kingdom, whether it's expanding Magic Kingdom, whether it's adding more to Star Wars and Hollywood studios just do something right. Give us something to look forward to. And I think animal kingdom probably needs it the worst because there's, I think there's a total of like eight attractions that uh, I think for me, if you could do that, that would be awesome. Yeah. Dino land needs some help. (laughs) Like, (laughs) like badly. Yeah. You just tear down stuff and just leave it there as an eyesore. I mean, it seems like, like God, like they could have, that, they had two years to announce something there and they didn't. I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't understand we, it because of, we got those blue sky drawings from D 23, um, where we really don't know what. Yeah. I mean, I'm not so sure that they're actually going to do anything with it, but they got to totally do something, it. right? It needs to be done. Yeah. I, Does it have to be <laughs> Moana? No. Does it no. have to be Zootopia? Please Hopefully God, not. No, God, enough <laughs> with Moana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They could do something though, and yeah. it would go a long way. And I think it would help bring people to that park as well for more than yeah, two he, hours. He took yours, I, so right. Mine's not as like an offshoot, I guess. I I'm sorry, I jumped the gun there. Uh, what about? I think I asked for the same thing last year, Santa Bob. Can we just <laughs> fix the shit that's broken? Please. It's not a big ask yeah. at this point. Just, just ongoing maintain. thing. We yeah. talked about it in our last episode too. Like just make it clean and nice again and make it not look janky. 
at every turn. Yeah. Not every Sp- part is, but like just the basic ass maintenance. <laughs> Throw some money to your cast members to hire the right people and just get the shit done. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> How much was it? Would it cost to just? implode the harmonious shit and just drop it into the middle Ooh. of the lake and say, fuck it. Oh, I, I mean, think they, they've already that's started a pretty doing good fire, fireworks. But I mean, let's just yeah. make it an, a spectacle. You could televise it, but if you, or if people can get close to hell, you can watch it from the Riviera and tell everybody you're doing it. <laughs> that's Throw good will for fans. <laughs> they could just them put them all together <laughs> and just burn them. And yeah. yep, flip the switch back to illuminations and call it a day. Cause or whatever. <laughs> It doesn't one thing just I'm, not that. Yeah, one thing yeah. I'm a little surprised at you guys uh, for not bringing up, since you guys are the lovers of you know Disney transportation and the haters of driving in your own vehicle, is mm. somehow expanding the Skyliner or expanding the monorail system or just the Disney transportation system in general. I thought that that sure. was going to be something that you guys would bring up and beg for here, particularly over to say I don't know Animal Kingdom and Animal Kingdom. Animal Lodge Kingdom and, needs it. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, that would be one to to circle. But it's been previously I, asked as well. Yeah, exactly. How about we and, new monorails? <laughs> oh yeah, because the other <laughs> We're ones not smell like gerbil cages. The shit they smell like gerbil cages. Yeah. Let's get new ones. I bet you that is the Ads last thing bonfire. that we get. Just keep driving yeah. them and tip off at Epcot and just go. <laughs> Yeah. Just dump them into the construction site, yeah, <laughs> as a landfill. <laughs> yes, I mean it. They could start with just buying one. Just... Start yeah. with one, and then incorporate, you know, every <laughs> year or two, you know, and just get us something because those monorails are terrible. Yeah, I mean they. Oh God, they stink. <laughs> <laughs> they stink so bad. <laughs> Yeah. God, you think that like they had ferrets sitting around in them? I mean, I've kind of gotten <laughs> used to the smell now. I guess having ridden it a bunch of times because I, you know, don't want to take the ferry across every time the that I go to Magic awesome. Kingdom. Uh, yeah, it's fun once, and then you're like, eh, uh, uh, let me ride something in the future. I don't know. Let it's me seems- breathe different air. That's yeah. not from outside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need the smell of popcorn and you know, it's better than the smell of ass. Yeah. Sometimes it just <laughs> makes you true. appreciate it more. Okay, just saying. it's nostalgia. Smell of ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's it smelled like that for like at least twelve years. So if you want to throw back to the early two thousands, there you go. Uh, <laughs> damn straight. I mean, it, it'll just bring up old memories. So a pretty yeah. succinct a succinct wish list there from us. We had the the big capital expenditure in the, in the park, but I actually think everything is doable within a 10 year frame to be quite honest. So yeah, they had announced something. So something. lastly, and unre- unrelated, do you guys just a quick yes or no, Pat, do you think that this JPEG or this uh, Bob Iger contract goes longer than two years? Does it get a renewal? Yes. Bobby. Yes, but I genuinely hope not. I hope they actually stick to the plan this time. Becky, where are you stand? This was my backup Christmas wish list. Uh, <laughs> give us a plan of what's going to actually fucking happen next. So you should have led with I that. Think- <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a plan. Yeah, I think yes, not yet, because I don't know that there will be a com- clear plan in two years. I- Yep, I think I think we get another extension of two or to three years, and we're going to see fucking ground another... on Christmas. He's yep. he's going to stay until he's ready to go. He may not have been ready to go the first time because he kept on extending himself, extended himself, yeah. and it's and and so I see I see this happening. Like he's just going to go as long as he wants, as long as the company's doing well. Obviously, well, hey, if he can be Santa Bob and drop some. <laughs> Beautiful things on us. We'll all be okay with it. Mr. Iger, you've got our list. Let us know what you're getting us for Christmas. You can email us at info at notclub33.com. Uh, no, we're watching. For the, <laughs> for the rest watch. of you guys, yeah, JPEG's watching from his <laughs> from his couch. <laughs> a little curmudgeon now. He's hate watching the show. Yeah, $100 million curmudgeon, let me tell you. Yeah. I didn't say it before while you were in power because you had control over me, but fuck you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say that yet. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, he could have like canceled my reservation if he really wanted to be vindictive. He could have been that guy, like, oh, hey, yeah. that fucker. Yeah, but Name it now, on the IT. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> totally, totally screw Mr. Chapin. Well, um, <laughs> on a lighter note, <laughs> if you enjoy this show, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. Hit subscribe here if you are new to us and consider hitting notifications so you know when we drop episodes. Next week, I promise, well, I don't fully promise because if crazy news drops, we will have a different show. But it should be, you should see next week, a show about our favorite Disney World resorts for Christmas time. So that will be airing here Friday, 4 p.m., Magic Kingdom time. We'll catch you guys then. For everybody here at Not Club 33, peace out. Bye.